Origin of European Architecture Early Western architecture originated from Greek culture, including the architecture that developed on mainland Greece, Hellandic, and in the basin of the Aegean Sea, Minoan, before the arrival in about 1000 BC of the Launians and the Dorians, after the collapse of the Minoan and Mycenaean civilization, Greece entered a difficult period historically known as the Dark Age, 12,000 BC to 700 BC. The old major settlements were abandoned, with the notable exception of Athens and the population dropped dramatically in numbers. Within these years, the people of Greece lived in small groups that moved constantly in accordance with their new pastoral lifestyles and livestock needs. Therefore, architecture then was extinct in Greece until the 7th century when urban life and prosperity recovered to a point where public building could be undertaken. Since most Greek buildings in the archaic and early classical periods were made of wood or mud brick, nothing remains of them except a few ground plans, and there are almost no written sources on early architecture or descriptions of buildings. Most of our knowledge of Greek architecture comes from the few surviving buildings of the classical Hellenistic and Roman periods since Roman architecture heavily copied Greek. The standard format of Greek public buildings is well known from surviving examples such as the Parthenon, and even more so from the Roman buildings that were built partly on the Greek model, such as the Pantheon in Rome. The building was usually either a cube or a rectangle made from limestone, of which Greece has abundance, and was cut into large blocks and dressed. Marble was an expensive building material in Greece. High-quality marble came only from Mount Pentelus in Attica, and from a few islands such as Paros, and its transportation in large blocks was difficult. It was used mainly for sculptural decoration, not structural, except in the very grandest buildings of the classical period, such as the Parthenon. There were two main styles or orders of Greek architecture, the Doric and the Lonic, as well as one minor style, the Corinthian. The Doric order was the earliest of these, known from the 7th century BC and reaching its mature form in the 5th century BC. In their original Greek version, Doric columns stood directly on the flat pavement, the stylobate, of a temple without a base. Their vertical shafts were fluted with parallel concave grooves, and they were topped by a smooth capital that flared from the column to meet a square abacus at the intersection with the horizontal beam, entabulator, that they carried. The Doric order was more formal and austere and pr predominated on the mainland and in the western colonies. The acknowledged Doric masterpiece is the Parthenon, 448 to 432 BC crowning the Athens Acropolis. The thinner and more elegant Iconic order developed more or less concurrently with the Doric order. It originated in the mid-6th century BC in Lonia, the southwestern coastland and islands of Asia Minor, settled by Lonian Greeks. Unlike Greek Doric order, Lonic columns normally stand on a base which separates the shaft of the column from the stylobate or platform. The capital of the Lonic column is often characterized by a paired scrolling design called volutes that are laid on a molded cap. 
echinus of the column, or spring from within it. Most of the early examples are gone, but Lonic was used inside the Propylia, begun 437 BC, and in the Erechtheum, begun 421 BC, both on the Athens Acropolis. The more ornate Corinthian order may be seen as an enriched development of the Lonic capital, though one may have to look closely at the Corinthian capital to see the Lonic volutes at the corners, perhaps reduced in size and importance, scrolling out above the two ranks of leaves and the smaller voltus scrolling inwards to meet each other on each side. It has the advantage of facing equally in four directions and is therefore more adaptable than Lonic for corners.